up. Come through with some salt, garlic, black pepper, and of course we cannot forget the brown sugar. Give it a nice little press and we push. Trying to get it all up in the crevices like this. Get the rest, keep going. Cover it, get your sides, and don't worry, the bottom will be taken care of. Beautiful, just like that. Put the excess to the side. Go ahead and take this off. Place it to the side quickly and we come through, grab it. And just lay it down on our aluminum foil. We have some nice spring onions that we're gonna plug in like this in the spaces right there and right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and close it up nice and tight. And we're going this way. Guys, we're gonna place it here, close it up and we'll be right back. This come over here, we flip our cheese, little barbecue sauce in the holes. And what we're gonna do is make a nice little appetizer with our leftover bones. Leftover, not really, because we took them out from the beginning. That's what we wanted to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab these seasoned bones and plug them in. Holes, just like this. And now we're gonna come through and make these individual just come like this and we cut straight down just like that now we come over here grab some bacon and go ahead and place it just like this now we're gonna go ahead and grab this piece right here Place it just like that and we wrap it in our bacon strips get the bottom nicely covered and we place the last one right here with the others a little barbecue sauce to top it off and we'll be we're gonna be going off to the oven right in the oven and we'll be right back We move on to this, plug it in, nice and secure, and we go. And we simply bring it on this way, just like this, look at that, push it off, and come over here. And take the length of our grill. And split it in two just like that place this one on that side and we come through with a little salt pepper with our cream cheese filling Give that little push down and we do our last one here just like this Beautiful. We have our top layer of potatoes. We just flip it on top like that. Come through a little salt and pepper, olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and toothpick this together so it doesn't open up on us in the oven. Nice little toothpick, secure it, and we are off to the oven. Let's go this way into the oven and guys when this is ready you're gonna want to make it at home back from the oven just like that cheesy bacony what else can you ask for just grab this baby Ooh. look at that it's breaking apart in my hands wow 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 let's get a few pickles bam 
Bam, 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 and let's even get a piece. That's my sandwich. But, and let's grab this beautiful tomahawk, make that pocket, and continue. We have our beautiful tomahawk steak here, which we previously made a nice pocket in, and we're gonna dip this in the beautiful butter we have ready. Oh yeah, just like that. One more. Come back in here, grab ourselves some barbecue spices. Dump them in there. And repeat the process. One more. Okay. All right guys, now we're gonna take this here, place it on our cutting board. Go ahead and open up our pocket. Get some of these nice onions and bell peppers. Stuff them in there. One more big, big spoon. Get them all the way inside as much as you can. Get yourself some wooden skewers. We're gonna close this baby up nice. Make sure it goes through both sides. There we go. All right, guys, let's make this happen. Go ahead and get a little salt. And we continue buttering up, buttering up the steak here. Give it a flip. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's add a little butter. Salt. All right, guys, now that both our sides are nicely crispy, we're gonna go ahead and sit it on its side a minute. Get that back. And now that our meat is perfectly seared on both sides, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our side so we can enjoy this meal. I have my sweet potatoes here. We're gonna give them a little smash gently. Roll it once, all the way, there you go. Grab yourself a little knife, right down the middle, and pop it open. With the help of the knife, just go ahead and open that up, beautiful. Grab yourself some butter, and we're gonna put it right inside. There we go. Get yourself a few marshmallows. And stick them in there beautifully there we go stick them in there guys there now we're gonna go ahead and grab this flip it over Just give it about 10 seconds now it should be just about ready. And I'll flip it back over. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, for final touch, we're going to go ahead and add some pecans in there. And when this is nice and ready, we're going to bring it over with the others. Slide it on there. Take these out, take that off. Go ahead and get rid of this bone here. Set it there for later. All right, y'all, so we have some beef ribs right here. You can go ahead and cut one off, just like this. Beautiful. Look at that, and we move on. Okay, now we have our beautiful rib right here. We're gonna go ahead and come as close as we can to the bone, just peel it, let it fall on its own, just like that, not all the way down, right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut in this way, and we open it up, 
and go across. Try to make a nice, even layer. Go this way. Once we get to this part right there, we open it up again, like a book. And we're gonna go with one more. Nice thin layer this way. And there we go. Beautiful. See we have our bone here and the rest of it right there. Get that and go ahead and place it right here. Bring that in together. We have some pork sausage and we're gonna roll it onto some bacon strips like this. Grab that and roll. Now we bring it back this way, close it up completely. Beautiful. I'm gonna place this right here. Come through with a little salt and pepper for our steak. Quickly. Grab our little oink ball here and we're gonna roll it in the center. Like that. All the way. Bring it like this, lay it down, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this, press it in just like that. Beautiful, nice and flat. Now, we're gonna pick it up, and we're gonna sear this baby right here. See, we have tied this up with some kitchen twine, and we're gonna very carefully place this down and sear it nicely, like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it and get our other side done. Look at that beauty. And we're not done yet. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take this out. Now that it's beautifully sealed on both sides. Okay. Check out the other side real quick. Nice. We got onions. We have garlic, a bay leaf, rosemary, and thyme. Spread that out, we're gonna give that just enough time for the onions to get nicely caramelized. And we're gonna go ahead and place it. That this is nice and ready, we're gonna go ahead and grab this back, place it in, and we're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and add a little red wine and some beef broth, like that. And now we are off to the oven. These flavors are gonna mix in perfectly. Smells great already, and we still have two more hours to go in the oven. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this in here for two hours. We're gonna check it, and we'll be right back. Back from the oven, y'all. Check that beauty out. Let's go ahead and dig in real quick. Get this nice. Put that to the side. Let's dig in right here. Look at that. Perfectly tender. 